Hi there, my name's Sam, and we're jumping back in here into some Ronaville time. We're going to be playing the last bit of David Otimus's time here. Uh, of course, his time did get screwed up, uh, so we're probably just... I'm just going to play him for the amount of time that I normally would would play, which is like an hour. That'll be fine. I think we're just we're going to have enough to do and mess around with between him working and him with his uh, surprise lover, Michelle. We're gonna jump back in here. I think he was, it looks like he's napping on the couch as his carpool arrives. So we're probably just gonna be fast forwarding pretty soon to, uh, oh, he's going, there we go, to his work, which that's right. He already is at level three. We already got ourselves up to level three. Oh, that's right. We got it. We got a nice pizza in our fancy little kitchen here. We got a something, some kind of drink he left behind. Very, uh, very clean of you to leave your, your kitchen in this, this state, buddy. Okay, I guess he's going off. I guess we'll we'll be back when he's back. Alrighty. He's got another promotion. This man, he now is a commercial actor. I think he's worked all of maybe two days. Also, our bills are over here underneath the carpool. But he's worked all of maybe two days, and he skipped to level four. <laughs> David really has got it going for him, I guess. David, I need you to just pay all bills, please, and then you can go about your business. Okay. Let's go do what we were going to do. We're going to take a shower. He is kind of tired. Maybe he could nap a little bit, and then we could have him invite over his friend, Michelle. He also wants to have a party. That could be fun. We could invite a bunch of our friends. Got all kinds of our old college buddies over, and we could invite Michelle. I think we've decided that we would like Michelle to move in. I think that would be good. He does want to be BFFs with her. We'll see if maybe when she comes over, if he gets some kind of wants, but it'd be nice to have another sim in the house. Well, I had David just nap like an hour or two. The phone's ringing. Answer the phone. See if anybody, if it's anybody fun asking us to go downtown or anything. Um, and then after that, we could also, I think we'll throw a little party or something. Go get a little get together going. I don't know if it's too late in the evening to throw a party. Looks like it's Titania calling him for some reason. Just because they're friends. Oh, we've got some Titania um, chemistry going on. Well, you know what? I think we're going to hang up with Titania. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try throwing a house party. I think that... Who do we... I guess we could just go by friends. We need Michelle. We have an eight guest maximum. Let's do Mercutio. Uh, we were in college with Tybalt and Puck. Also, his, his, par his grandma and his parents are his other friends. I don't think we're going to invite them. I don't think we're going to invite Thistle. I think Thistle has a... Uh, we need Rinaldo. We're going to invite Reynaldo. He's a cool guy. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to have him go ahead and call for a service. Oh, our lot lo lo just lagged a little. I'm guessing we got friends appearing here. Very nice. I don't see our lady friend. I don't see our special lady friend. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. Is everybody just kind of rolling on in? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm LaShawn. Uh, my friend Michelle had such a great time with you. No, we, we can't go downtown. We just started a party. I guess we could go downtown with her some other time. Um, Puck has decided to show up in his, his tuxedo, which is pretty great. I appreciate that. Uh, there we go. I guess we're just sitting and chatting. I think the Sims 2 parties are really about like social interaction anyway, so... I guess we'll, we'll just uh, do some talking and chatting. We ordered... Didn't we order food or did that not happen? Did I get interrupted from delivery? Or did I forget? Everybody's just eating chips anyway, but I'm gonna order Chinese food. What if we bought like a little, I don't know, what should we buy? I guess everybody, I was gonna get, I think I'll get like a little console for him. Oh, I never saw that before. This television is already being used. I never seen that message. I think usually they just get interrupted. I wonder how these two redheaded fairies feel about each other. <laughs> Puck's like, wait a minute, I never seen you around these parts before. What, what fairy clan are you from? Our Chinese food is here. Well, I guess it's chill for him just to kind of all hang out and watch a movie. Uh, I just noticed that Tybalt was swooning over Puck. And he's also standing directly in the way of the television, so that's great. Let's accept delivery. There we go. We get our Chinese food. Everybody will be happy. Oop. This one tile little entrance is kind of an issue. Sometimes it's like not great. Very nice. Okay, we are on our way with the Chinese food. Everybody's, oh, I was going to, 
Oh, that's neat. Look at the little. I love it when the when one of them sits on the ground because those all the seats were full. This is fun. I kind of like this little. Look at this little scene. Uh, right now, that looks broken. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I like the little scene with them playing their their video games. We seem to be having a pretty good time on our goofy little little hangout party. Here, can we do like a hangout? If I hit hangout, they can sit on the floor. Okay, these two are gonna. Rikushu and Tybal are busy. They're very busy boys. Is this just like a good way for everybody? Everybody just gonna sit around and chill? Oh, oh no! <laughs> I don't think that was quite. <laughs> right now, they look so so innocently interested here. Look at these three on top of each other. Oh my gosh! I don't think this is quite as intended, boys. They just, they're real close. They're real close buddies. This is the boys only club. Sad that our girly friend didn't show up. Maybe she had work or something. Oh, okie dokie. Our party just finished. Uh, says it was a good time. Was that enough to be, oh cool. I, w I didn't know if that was enough to count as good party. Looks like now we want to be friends with uh, LaShawn. Oh, I forgot he wants to buy a bubble blower. How much does that cost? That would have been good for our party. That was silly. 1700 I wonder how much this costs. Well, I'll have to... I guess I'll wait um, till he goes to work again and then I can buy him one. Although he might lose the want, but I think we can still get him one. You're gonna, you're gonna sleep on the couch again, buddy? He has a thing about sleeping on the couch. <laughs> it's, I think it's his little comfort place. Oh, did everybody leave? This freaking rain. Okay, we have a fire outside. We have a tree fire. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. It's weird because I've had tree fires actually burn down a tree before and then sometimes they just burn out, which looks like this one's going to burn out. That's fun. That's cool. Okay. Okay, it's actually morning time. David's got to go to work in an hour. He actually hasn't been asleep very long. I don't think it was very... Uh, I think it was pretty early when they wrapped up their, their uh, party. I'm going to have him wake up and go uh, clean himself up. The kitchen's still a mess. There's boxes on the floor and all over the place. A can. But uh, I don't I don't know if David cares. He's kind of on the sloppy side. I feel like he's just he don't really mind until it really gets in his way, I guess. Oh. We didn't even get to shower before our carpool showed up. Jeez. Oh my goodness gracious. That is quite an outfit. This man. This man will do anything for uh, some showbiz. Look at that. That's a piece of work right there. That's 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 really a perfect outfit for him, I, I must say. That's that's correct. <laughs> that's correct for you, sir. Is that gonna even fit in the back of the car? Oh, it's sticking out of the car. There it goes off into the nowhere land. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's save. Okay, we have arrived in our wonderful little outfit here. We have enough money. Well, we just rolled away the want to get a bubble blower. I don't think we had. I think it was seventeen hundred. Yeah. I guess I'll wait on it for now since he doesn't even have the want. I mean, I still want to get it for him because it seems like something he would get. Who's calling? Oh, Herbert. Okay. Uh. What? Oh, hey, David. You seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product. And I'd be interested to hear your feedback on it. Here's a free sample for you to mess around with. And I can see he's got like an X with a genie's lamp in it. Why is that there? Is that just random? That might not be. Is he getting a genie's lamp? Because that would be fun. Um, this is Herbert Goody, who's kind of like a counterpart. He's like a bin sim counterpart to Herb Oldie. <laughs> so, fun fact. Uh, what did we get? Oh my gosh, we got a plasma screen TV, man. <gasps> we could probably sell this. We have enough money for a bubble blower. Look at that. Heck yeah. We got a fancy big screen TV. Man, the boys got to come back over and see this. They're going to love watching movies on this. And then we got to buy him a we'll buy him one of these thingies. Where should we put it? Maybe out on this. This is a very nice dirt patch over here. We could do that. Right next to the tree. We got to make a colors. Make it pretty colors. I got all kinds of recolors and defaults. Ooh, that one's, these ones look like they're all worn out, like they've been out in the weather, which this honestly is literally going to be out in the weather, so why don't we just do that? <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're having a random, random plain one. There we go. That's our sketchy little bubble blower. 
That's what he's, he's doing with his time. Well, I thank you, Mr. Well, thank you, Mr. Herbert. I appreciate you. Um, so my other thought process was LaShawn really wanted to go out with us. I thought maybe we could call her up and go downtown again. Do we have, um, who's this random walking by with this goofy little outfit? Oh, actually, Michelle, our girlfriend, is walking by. So we could say hi to her. Oh, that's Portia. I don't know why Portia's wearing this random outfit. Let's hang up with Herbert and let's talk to Michelle. Hey, Michelle, uh, LaShawn called us. I think she wants to hang out with me. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is too much. <laughs> we need a picture of this. There we go. Look at this. This is this is romantic. I'm filming this on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to these <laughs> to these two. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess she's here to to chill. Yes, we need to brush our teeth because that's the most important thing that we need to fix about the situation right now. I love the. F Can we talk about the French fry physics? Can you see the physics on the French fries? It's is really really magnificent. I really appreciate this. He thinks our french fries are hot. Come on down. Oh, not her standing up as soon as we sit down. Ma'am, where are you headed? Where's she going? Is she leaving? Where are you going, lady? Did she just, did she just stand up and walk away? Oh, I bet she's going out here. Yeah, let's pull some bubbles. Oh my gosh. It's kind of jarring how when I click, his entire french fry head just takes up the entire... Everything I'm clicking on. It's like I can't even see what I clicked on. <laughs> There's a nice old little uh, impromptu date. Oh, there's a stray dog waddling its way over to us. Don't get too close, dog. You get secondhand smoke. This is very fun, y'all. I think I would I would like to have them be a little romantic for the hex of it. He does want to be best buddies. What do we need to be best of buddies? What do we think? I guess just lots of joking and talking and appreciating and back rubbing. And hug in. Oh, he wants to invite someone over. I want to lock that in. That's a fun little want. It's a very specific kind of simple want, but I feel like that's connected to inviting LaShawn over and then maybe going out on a date. Uh, not on a date necessarily, but just going out to hang out downtown. I don't, I'm not going to like force anything romantic unless it just happens. And then I don't really know what's going to happen because we already have this going on, obviously. What? <laughs> I didn't click anything. He's doing this on his own. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Okay, I have. I don't remember if it's the ACR or the something else, but there is a random engagement mod. Like, not random, autonomous engagement mod. I've never had it actually happen, though. <laughs> okay. That was a surprise. That was a surprise. All right. So I think we should ask her to move in now. Honestly, I think she needs to move in. Just because, like, why not? We can still invite our friend LaShawn over and she can just be our buddy. Doesn't have to be weird, you know? I'm surprised she just, like, accepted. She also, it didn't go bad either. Like, it just happened. Michelle just gave us 15 grand, man. I'll have a wedding party. Holy crap, dude. Okay. I, I'm gonna keep LaShawn locked in for now, unless I better want rolls. But holy crap, we've had some interesting things happen. Um, so Michelle, I don't, I mean, I gotta, I could give her some traits and stuff. Okay, so she's a fortune sim. She wants to get married to David. Interesting. She, she's obviously she doesn't have like a uh, a degree to have like multiple things going on here. So she's fortune. Uh, oh, she's a hostess, level four. Interesting. So she's very lazy. She's kind of shy. More on the neat side. Very playful and kind of midway between grouchy and nice. Her one true hobby is cuisine. Interesting. Um. I could try and come up with some some uh, traits for her. Also, I could calculate a secondary aspiration. I'm not in as much of a hurry to do that right this second. I think I'll just focus on the traits for right now. Um, so I feel like lazy, we could do couch potato. 
what else? She was kind of neat, but not really. I wonder if I might just use the, the randomizer. I think that could be fun. She does like cuisine, so I guess we could do, like, cook. Good cook. We could do those two, and then the last three we could randomize. That's kind of what I did with David. I chose three that I thought he would be... That made sense, and then the last two I randomized, so we can kind of do that with her. I'm going to take... Well, um... I'm going to delete that. We're going to take this and this. I didn't look... I don't ever really pay attention to Sims turn-ons. What are her actual turn-ons? Underwear and... Glasses? What? Okay, well it says glasses, but it, it shows a degree. I do have like a replacement mod. Anyway, so apparently that's that. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Anyway, um, let's do, we're going to do random trait to Michelle. Random trait to Michelle. Random trait to Michelle. And if there's any duplicates, we'll have to replace them. Okay. So we have the great cook, or natural cook. And couch potato. Then we got never nude, eccentric, and absent minded. Those are kind of interesting. We can do that. That works. Well, we, we now are engaged. That happened very spontaneously. Oh, Michelle, that's dirty. Michelle, that's dirty. <laughs> um, I guess we couldn't. We could, let's call Sim. See, it's probably way too late to invite. LaShawn over, but he, he wants to invite someone over, so we could at least call her over. Just try to make friends with her. Uh, can my friend come over too? Sure. Who's your friend? We know it's not Michelle, because she's here. I'm going to have Michelle clean things up. Or actually, I'll have him do some stuff too. I think this needs to be taken out. That. His giant french fry head keeps getting in the way. I haven't had him change out of it, because I just think it's it's very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think the french fry head is good. <laughs> I think we need to keep the french fry head. Okay, here's LaShawn. Who's your friend? Who's this random? Anton Antonio Monty? That's not a random. That's Antonio Monty. Is that your friend? Okay. Well, let's greet everyone. I guess Antonio Monty's visiting us. I thought he was like an NPC cook, <laughs> but it's literally one of our main uh, characters here. Wait, it says we're already friends with her. Why do we want to be friends with somebody we're already friends with? All right, I don't know. Let me see if... And also it's got this, like, the, that... Oh, I forgot about that. I think this blue thing is from, like, if they call to invite you over, you have, like, it's like a grace period, so she'll come over. So that's probably why she came over so late, maybe? Or maybe it just wasn't really that late. Okay, now it just counted us as being friends, so that's fine. I like how his little, uh, gross little goatee beard shows perfectly out of the fry head. I, I particularly enjoy that feature <laughs> of the fry head. Okay, are we gonna all just sit and watch TV, or, like, what's the dealio? <laughs> I do, one thing I do appreciate about LaShawn is she enjoys the, the, the fake out, uh, shake. Okay, we're gonna, we're saying goodbye, okay. That lasted, that was very short, but we got our want. Ma'am, it's it's 3 a.m. Can we go to sleep? Is that possible at all? To go to sleep at 3 a.m.? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Seems like every time David goes to sleep, his carpool comes. He's been to sleep, asleep for like a couple hours. Okay, well you gotta go to work now, buddy old pal. Have fun. When does uh, Ms. Michelle go to work? Uh, 10 a.m. So she's gonna be going to work too pretty quick here. Oh, Michelle's carpool's coming, too. She doesn't want a, a wedding party anymore. I guess that is something we could do before we're done here. Go ahead and have their little wedding party toward the end of the episode. Michelle did give us 15 grand to screw around with. I think we can afford a few wedding, uh, a few wedding party things. Oh, okay, Michelle's back first before, before David is. Oh, he gets back at five. Interesting. So he's got a bit longer day. Oh, thank you for doing that, Michelle. I was going to say, everything's a mess out here. Oh, here comes French Fry Head. Hello, French Fry. Hello, random man standing on the sidewalk. Invite someone over again? Buddy old pal, you gotta chill out with this. It's okay to just chill out sometimes, man. Play Marco Polo. Interesting concept. He's thinking about swimming. I don't believe there's a way to swim... Currently, um, what if we built them a pool <laughs> with their money? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like David might be a little bit irresponsible with money. 
sometimes. I feel like that could be his thing. Meanwhile, Michelle seems like, as a fi fortune sim, she's uh, very into like saving her money. That's probably why she had 15 grand to start with. David gained a point of logic skill playing. I didn't... Is that Maybe that's a mod I have. Anyway, let me turn it daylight for a sec. She, we could have a pool a wedding party. Here, we need round edges because all the cool kids do the round edge pools. I don't know, I feel like David would have a pool with a little style. A little pizzazz. Oh, that's fancy. The color options. Look at this orange. Oh my god, that's so obnoxious. I must use it. I'm gonna use this obnoxious orange because it's here. And then now what? Let's see. What about an orange wall? <laughs> all his neighbors hate him because of his ugly orange pool. Look at this like yellowy edge. There we go. That's perfect. There we go. I like how this looks so far. Let's turn the lights back on. And our fancy little privacy privacy pool. Nobody will ever know our hideous secret. <laughs> our hideous orange secret. Have our little parties. David's a party man. He needs a nice little party pad. Okay. So we've got our little party pad. I am going to buy, before I run out of money, I am going to buy a little wedding thing. There we go. This is my kind of wedding. <laughs> this is what we need. This is, what, this is a David wedding right here. It's beautiful. We spent all our money on this. So we didn't really have enough money for that. Not really. We have plenty of money. But we'll, that's the that's the story we're going to go with. Hey, Ani, did you see the new pool I put in while you were at work? <laughs> Thanks for your money. Yeah, I guess, I guess tomorrow they could have their little wedding party. They Let's see. Today's Saturday. She does work, work tomorrow. He doesn't work tomorrow. Maybe she could call in sick. And they could have their their wedding and that's what we can we can call it good for the episode even though obviously like I said our days are all screwed up. Oh, the phone is ringing and we are eating. We cannot answer the phone while spaghetti is on the table. But I want to. I must know who it is. David, please answer the phone. Oh, it's Antonio Monti. I can just barely see over the fries. This was another very fun little day. We've I, I like the the progression that's happening in this household so far. So yeah, so we'll have um Ms. Ms. Michelle call in sick tomorrow and we'll have a quick little little party and that'll be the end of this episode. Okay, I'm gonna have to get Michelle up quick before her carpool arrives. She can call work. I'm getting married, Michelle. Not quit. Uh oh, she can't take a sick day? Crap, it wouldn't let her take... Oh, she has no vacation days. I guess she can just not go to work. Okay, yeah, that's her carpool. We'll have her cancel. We're not going to work. Sorry, nobody's home. Sorry, carpool man. Nobody's home. He looks dead inside. <laughs> I don't think you're a real sim after... Oh, oh no, I went down too far. <laughs> I saw what I didn't want to see. I need to go back. Put away our leftover bowl of our our communal bowl of cereal and let it get soggy in the fridge. Can you imagine just a big bowl of cereal in the fridge? No thanks. We're gonna have David throw the wedding party. That's actually his want, and he knows all the people. Um, Puck probably wants to join us. Oh, yeah, obviously Peter and Samantha Otimus. Um, our grandma. Where's where's she? Dora. What about uh who else is our friend? Tybalt. LaShawn. There we go. We got a crew. I don't know what, what our, our formal wear looks like. I'm not really in the mood to change it. I'm in the mood to just uh, go with whatever the heck we end up with. I think it's kind of fun. We also just got some lag. I have a feeling everybody's spawning in. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at this crew. Look at the crew. You know what we need out here is music. That's what we do need out here. Um, I guess we'll get this. Get our get our music going. Is everybody in our house? Everybody's out front. Awkward. Okay, we have Samantha and Peter here. I didn't realize that Peter has the same hair as, as David right now. That's kind of fun. Oh, she's got a very nice little outfit. I like her little dress. All right, we gotta get David inside. We gotta get him... Oh, he's on the hookah in his pajamas. Nobody. This is your wedding party? Uh-oh. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get outside because of everybody blocking our way. Wait, I'm gonna bring everybody out here. Everybody come out here and have fun out here. And I'm actually here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be I'm gonna do a step further. And I'm gonna put 
our this gaming console in our inventory for right now and our television <laughs> so that so nobody comes inside and screws around does he have a computer he does i want everybody outside oh we have this too here we go all the entertainment objects are now only outside <laughs> so everybody will stay out of our freaking house actually i could have also locked the door and that would have been a lot easier here we are <laughs> There we go. Yeah, we got to get gr grandma's on the hookah. <laughs> David, I asked you to go change. Puck is talking to our what our future wife, our fiance. What's your what's your formal wear look like, friend? I'm curious. Let's see what kind of atrocity. What is that? OK, well, it's actually surprisingly boring. I was hoping for some like leopard print suit. OK, I might have to go ahead and adjust this because I don't think this is appropriate for our boy. The other one, I like her little dress. Her dress is good. This one though, we're gonna we're gonna use our little our little cheat mod here. Change my uh, formal. I might be causing the game to crash. Oh, there we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Okay, now we gotta um, we're gonna swap him out of. Oh no! Oh no! David, please come out here quick. Oh no! Oh no, wait, if I, s let me just save. Go out, oh no, there, oh no, I caused problems. It was the thumbnail loading. It's always the th goddamn thumbnails. Is that maybe a little bit better? There we go, that's a little bit better temporarily. Look at that, look at this. It's It's got zebra print on the neckerchief thing. Very good, okay. We need to go here. Probably gonna get our, our wedding on the road here soon. Okay, Michelle's busy catching bugs at her wedding party. Where are you, Michelle? Why are you out here catching bugs? Uh, I think we will go ahead and get this show on the road here. There we go. Come on, everybody. These guys, I swear to God, they better get off that gosh darn hookah. If they don't get off that hookah, I'm going to be upset. Everybody's just scattered across our dirt lawn. There we go. This is, this is, this is the wedding photo. This is what we needed. Why does David look like a little bit nervous or something? We should get a little, a nice little cutscene. They are kind of out in the open, which is good. David a little bit nervous. I guess he's hot. Oh, he's like actually hot. Oh, here we go. The very nice. He has very nice green eyes. <laughs> Our friend's doing flips on the hookah in the back. Okay. Michelle missed work today. You know what? Michelle just got married today. Thanks. Well, this little episode took quite a turn. Ooh, we need this picture. Here we go. This is the picture. Look at, look at, look at, um, Tybalt's face. I don't know. Is he, is he, oh, I guess he's just bored. I thought he was like sad. How are we, how are we okay. Everybody's, everybody's just doing their thing. Here, I think we need an honorary dive in the pool, David. I know you gotta pee, but guess what? It's your pool, you can pee in it. Let's jump in. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. David's got a whole ass swimsuit. Like a scuba diving suit. Here we go. Very nice. We gotta ask people to join us. Let's let's ask everybody to join us in the pool. LaShawn's diving in. This is fun. Oh, our our mother's getting in. Alright, our pool's our party's about to be over, which is too bad because we're having fun. Everybody's swamming. Okay. The wedding party was a roaring success. We got Roof Razor. That's very good. That's a great party. Ooh, now he wants to go on vacation? That would be fun. That would be a fun thing to do next round with these guys. Alright, bye everyone. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. We're uh we're out here on the hookah in our scuba suit with a stray dog staring at us. That's cool. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm really happy with this random little household. I like David. I think he's fun. I think he's neat. Um, I like the spontaneous autonomous uh, proposal in the wedding that this, this little whirlwind romance and the fact that like even these two meeting was just like a happen, like a random chance thing is kind of fun. So this is just like a been a very truly like on its own little relationship, which is fun. Even her stopping by when he engaged to her was her just happening to walk by <laughs> like it's very random this is kind of fun uh david is 
was our our last household i have to add i'm gonna add uh michelle into our tracking sheet and we are now going to be moving on to the college kids that's going to be very fun i've got the let's see we have a ton of kids i'm not sure if i'm going to have to split them up between a couple households maybe because we have currently waiting in the university bin we have juliet hermia romeo bottom hal ginger newson ginger gallagher newson and gavin newson We've got a lot of kids waiting for college, <laughs> so I might have to split them up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this very interesting little family. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.